we are going to uh, bounded by the given curves using two methods. Letter A, using vertical elements of area, and B, horizontal elements of area, uh, using the equations x squared plus y plus 4 equals 0, and y is equal to negative 8. Now, I already sketched the graph of these two equations as shown in the figure. So uh, this is the parabola that opens downward, which equation is uh, x squared plus y plus 4 equals 0. And this is the y is equal to negative 8 line. Okay. And the two equations uh, intersect at two points at a negative 2, negative 8, and 2, negative 8. All right, so we will be finding the area of this region bounded by these two curves, the parabola and the, uh, the, the, the equation y is equal to negative a. So in this case, uh, we will be using a vertical line, All right? The vertical, uh, sorry, but the vertical strip or rectangular strip. And let's say this is our vertical uh, rectangular strip and this is our uh, delta x. Okay, and this is our length, which is the upper minus the lower. Oh, this is our width. All right. So in this case, our uh, the area of the rectangular strip or the okay the area is equal to length times width, which is equal to. Um, Length is the upper minus the lower times the delta x. And our upper equation, okay, this is our upper and this is our lower. So up and low. So our upper equation is x squared. Okay, so since in terms of uh, with respect to x, so uh, we will be solving y uh, in terms of x in this equation. So this becomes negative x minus 4 minus the lower, which is negative 8. All right, and multiply it by the, the delta x. So if we're going to simplify this, this becomes negative x squared minus 4 plus 8. Uh, delta x, which is equal to negative x squared plus 4 delta x, which is our change or delta area. So the delta area is the representation of one rectangular strip. All right. So we're now going to convert this to Raymond sums. And this is equal to area is equal to uh, the summation of negative x squared plus 4 delta x, uh, where i is, it starts from 1 up to n. And we're going to get the limit of the number of rectangular, vertical and rectangular strips in this region. So that's n is infinity. Okay, so we're going to make the rectangular strips infinite to approximate the approximately and accurately find the value of the area of the region. So this is now our working equation that we're going to convert to uh, integral form. So this becomes negative s squared plus four. So let's go to the next uh, our, sorry uh, whiteboard. So the area is equal to the integral of negative x squared plus 4 with respect to x. And let's uh, check the boundary or the lo lower and upper limits. Since so change of x, so we will start from negative 2 up to 2. Right? So from negative 2 to 2. OK, so let's solve for the integral of this. This becomes uh, negative x cubed over 3 plus 4x, OK? And this will be evaluated from uh, negative 2 to 2. So let's solve. 
So this becomes, let's uh, use the first, uh, the upper limit. So this is negative eight over three plus eight minus the lower limit. This becomes eight over three minus eight x, ah, sorry, it's eight minus eight. Okay, and let's simplify. So this becomes 16 minus 16 over three. Okay, so this is 16, 16, oops, sorry. This is 16, all right, and let's simplify. This is equal to 48 minus 16 over three. This is equivalent to 32 over three square units. So our final answer is uh, 32 square un 32 over three square units. And let's check if uh, we will get the same or equal or the same answer, the same value or equal value when we use the uh, horizontal, uh, horizontal rectangular strip, all right? So let's go to the next. Uh, slide here. So here, okay, let's go back. All right. Now let's use a horizontal, horizontal rectangular strip. So we're going to erase this, erase this. Okay, and let's work on the rectangular, horizontal rectangular strip. All right, so we have this. Okay, and let's identify the, the parameters. This is our delta sub y, and this is our x, right? So this is our width, and this is our length. Okay, now the length here is equal to uh, the right minus the left. Okay, the equations on the right minus the equations on the left. Okay, so we will be getting the area of all the strips that we can uh, construct uh, from the given uh, region. So let's continue here, our solutions. So again, with the use of the strip, so let's identify the area of one strip. So we have length times width, and our length was, okay, let's go back again. Our length was uh, R minus L. Okay, R equation on the right minus equation on the left times the delta sub Y. Okay, now our, uh, let's identify the equations on the right. The equations on the right, so this is the, this is the left part and this is the right part. So we need to identify this equation on the left and the equation on the right. So as we observe, uh, these two equations are just the equation of the given parabola x squared plus y plus four. So let's identify each equation, okay? So our, uh, our equation is, let's identify first or solve first the equation. So that's uh, x squared plus y plus four equals zero. So which means we will be solving for uh, x in terms of y. So x squared is equal to negative y minus four. And we take square root on both sides, square root on both sides. And don't forget the positive and negative since we took square root on both sides. So we have the square root of negative y minus four. All right, now since in our, in our graph, our graph was like this, okay, the parabola that opens down one, this is our equation left and this is our equation right. And since this is a negative part, so we are talking about x left is equal to negative square root of negative y minus four. And here, 
this is positive, so we're talking about x right is equal to the square root of negative y minus 4. Okay, so we can now substitute the values or the equations here. So uh, here we go. So our equation right is uh, the square root, the positive square root of negative y minus 4. Okay, minus our equation left was negative a negative, negative of the square root of negative uh, y minus four times, we need to multiply it by that uh, delta sub y. So delta, delta y, sorry, delta y. So let's simplify this. We have uh, two square root of negative y minus four times delta y. Okay, so this is the a representation of the area of one rectangular strip that we constructed a while ago. So let's use the Riemann sums. Okay, so we have uh, the summation of uh, two, negative y minus four, okay, and delta y, where i is equal to one to n, and we're going to get the limit of the number of the uh, horizontal rectangular strip to infinity. All right, so this is now our uh, representation of, uh, Lee, sorry, this is the Riemann sums representation of our uh, region. So let's convert this into integral notation. So we have two, as we simplified, negative y four, dy and let's identify the upper and lower, lower limits now since we're talking about uh, with respect to y so we're going to start from here okay so here up to here and this is equal to what's this mm, zero negative four and this one is zero negative eight. So therefore, we will be using the, the, the ordinates or the y values of these points since we're talking about the change of y here. So from negative eight to negative four, okay? So let's go back. Oh, from negative eight to negative four. Okay, so this is now our integral expression. So let's go to the next uh, board to solve this. Okay, let's rewrite the problem. Uh, our area is equal to the integral of two, the square root of negative y minus four dy from negative eight to negative four, if I'm not mistaken, okay? Uh, let's double check if it's correct negative one minus four, okay, that's right. Okay, so let's simplify this. Again, uh, since uh, two is constant, so we can factor it out, okay, by property of integral. So this is from negative eight to negative four or with respect to y. Okay, so let's uh, integrate this one. Now, since the, the expression is radical and um, uh, the radicand is negative y minus four. So let's let, let u, okay? So let u is equal to negative y minus four. So du is equal to negative dy and negative du is equal to dy, okay? So we can substitute dy by negative du. So let's continue our solution here. We still have enough space here. So let's continue. So equal, sorry, equals two. Okay, and this becomes u raised to one half. And since I already expressed this expression in terms of u, then the dy should be expressed in u as well. So this becomes du because dy is equal to negative u from negative eight to negative four. Okay, so let's integrate. Now, what's the integral? Oh, by the way, since this is negative, uh, I'll factor out the negative here. And uh, since this is u raised to one half, so the integral of u raised to one half is u raised to three halves over three halves. 
and to, to be evaluated from negative eight to negative four. All right, so let's simplify this. This becomes negative four over three. U raised to three halves, negative four, negative eight. Okay, so this is negative four over three. Let's factor this out and substitute the value of uh, u. u is equal to uh, negative y minus four raised to three halves from negative four to negative eight. Okay, so let's continue this on the other side. So we have, let's copy again, negative four thirds times negative y minus four raised to three halves from negative eight to negative four. Okay, so let's evaluate. So we have, let's start evaluating the upper limit that's negative four. So if y is negative four, this becomes zero, right? This becomes positive four minus four is zero minus, okay, let's start uh, substituting the negative eight. So negative eight times negative, it's positive eight minus four, that's four raised to three halves. Okay. Oh, this is supposed to be three, sorry. Okay, so three. So this becomes negative four thirds times negative, what is the square root of four? That's two cube of two is eight. So eight, negative eight. And this becomes negative four times negative eight, negative 32 over, sorry, positive 32 over three square units. So let's check if we got the same answer or equal value of the area of the region bounded by these two terms. Uh, using the vertical, vertical strip. Okay, oh, 32 over three and 32 over three. So we get the same answer. And I hope you get the same answer too, right? Okay.